Okay, I just want to make a quick video on uh, what I'm seeing for Bitcoin. Uh, it's on a weekly chart with uh, Larry Williams, uh, COT report, index, indicators, um, commitment of traders, what that stands for. But uh, So weekly looks really good. Uh, you know, we had a real big week coming up this week, but uh, this is the part that concerns me is the commercial index. Uh, your green line is your public, the small buyer. And that's the one that's leading most of the activity, it looks like. Uh, your commercial is your red line, your big, your big money, smart money. And looks like they are accumulating, but uh, Larry likes that to be above this two green lines, above seventy-five uh, on the indicator. It's not there yet, but they are accumulating. Looks like. Uh, your hedge funds are your blue line, so that's your large uh, traders, uh, is what he calls it. Uh, looks like they're selling right now, so I mean, that's kind of what they do. They, they, they buy all the way down, and then they sell. They dollar cost average out, I guess, on the when the price starts going up. You've got your William sentiment. You know, excuse my nose, it's stopped up pretty bad. I'm trying to wean myself off of Afrin. <laughs> so uh, the sentiment is uh, getting overbought, and your value compared to gold is getting extremely overbought. Uh, your open interest is coming up. That's your pink line here. Uh, again, your public is buying most of that on the net position. Uh, your, your red line is slowly coming up. Blue line's coming down. But, and then the value compared to bonds is overbought. To the dollar, it's still not, not quite overbought yet. But And then your blue line here is your seasonal. It looks like it could go up until the week of November 3rd. Uh, that'd be at least enough, maybe one or one or two more weeks. That'd be maybe one week, I guess. Uh, and then that shows to go down until December 15th. So I would expect some kind of pullback sometime in the near future. Uh, if you load load up the uh, daily on his uh, uh, will stop this is what he uses to tell when to get out of a position you can see we've had a huge move last week the last seven days or so uh, you're still above your, your three day trailing stop which is a will stop this this light blue line and then the yellow line would be your 18 day moving average. Uh, so if you don't have access to this will stop, you can at least, I think the, the will stop is pretty close to a nine day simple moving average. And then I put a 18 day also, I put that on trading view. Uh, but, and we come up here and look at Bitcoin uh, futures continuous. You see on a daily, it's on a plus nine. So it's it's overdue for a little correction. Uh, the weekly, uh, let's see how do I get rid, of that? get rid of that. You're on a seven count on the weekly. Um, I would say if you can get above this, 36,550 you got a real good chance of you know going on up to 40,000 or so but 
Uh, he might even get top of this cloud, 45,000, 46,000. Uh, you know, it can go as high as it wants, high as, high as uh, the big money wants it to go. But, uh, like I say, your, your, your value index is getting way overbought as far as the you know value to gold. And, uh, I don't know, it's, it's not a great time to be buying in, I don't think. Uh, you know, kind of late to the party. I mean, ideally, you should have been bought, buying over here, but I mean, it's easy to spot now. But you know, when your when your Williams value indicator is on the bottom, that's usually a pretty decent time to buy. You can see back here, right, been right here, back over here again. It worked. Uh, I like to watch the money flow, especially on a weekly when you get the money flow up, up above this green line, and you get the wheel valve below the the green line here that's that's about as good a setup as you can get uh, and then ideally you want to see the commercial money start coming in uh, it'd be better if the commercial money was above 75 on that indicator but we don't have that yet so i don't know that's why i'm thinking this is going to be a short-term rally uh, I, I would probably short it, you know, on your four day Williams percent R indicator, which is what Larry uses a lot, especially on a daily chart. Um, it's, it's got overbought and now it's coming down. So I would expect at least four days of, of down action, including today that, or I guess that would have been two days ago on the 27th. I don't know why this doesn't. I guess that would have been Friday's price action. That's the only bad thing about uh, commodities. They don't trade on Saturday. Uh, I believe it'll, it'll start trading today at, I think it's 5 o'clock Eastern time on Sunday. So we'll keep an eye on that again. But pretty much the same thing on the, on the spot price. This is Binance. Um, uh, Bitcoin, uh, yeah, great. Now my battery's running down. <laughs> Never fails when you try to make a video, your battery runs out. All right, we'll plug that in. Okay. So that's what I would expect. You know, for Bitcoin, I expect, you know, a little pullback off the daily uh, and I hate when this thing does that <laughs> yeah I hit a perfect 913 on the on the Bitcoin spot uh, or you know Binance chart uh, it's, a, it's a nice bull flag though that's that's your flag pole right here uh, if this breaks out uh, this high right here which it probably has a decent chance to do that your high was 35 280 uh, I would expect a movement and uh, most likely of this nine count uh, be easier to hear Larry's stuff but uh, let me pull a chart over here go to Bitcoin this is the uh, let me get rid of that. I don't know why TradingView started putting all your alerts on the left side. That's kind of weird. I like this thing here where you got them all in one. You got one X to close out. But um, what happened to Bitcoin? All right, let's go to trade list. Uh, yeah, I guess we can just use that. Uh, let's see, it's on a daily. So, yeah, if he's going to measure this, um, use your price range tool. Click the bottom of that right there and go to there right there. Uh, and then let's just shrink that down. 
and just slide it up here. That gets you about a 47,000, 47.5 target. Um, 32% move. <laughs> that's pretty good. If, if you can get it, that's, uh, that's pretty significant. If you can break out of this 32.80. So I put a horizontal line right here at the top of this one. It's nine bars. So you got to break 35,982. It's rounded up to 982, I guess. Uh, I thought we'd get a decent pullback. On big, I put the Fibonacci on it from the one bar. Drag it to the nine because that was your high. I was hoping at least get a 0.5 pullback on Bitcoin, but it's pretty strong. It's not really pulling back, which is a, a pretty bullish indicator if that'll reset the stochastic at least down here to a 50 this thing could just roll up and keep on going i mean it's on a seven bar so most likely you get two more weeks of up action and then it's going to roll over pretty hard i imagine but uh, a lot of times from what i've seen especially with crypto is you get one blow off candle like this week. And then most time your eight, nine count, you know, it's on a seven bar. It's on a weekly chart. So you're, I'm saying, I'm saying eight, nine bars probably make lower highs most likely, but it could be wrong. I don't know. Who knows? I mean, it just, just depends on how many buyers you got, how many sellers you got. Uh, I'm definitely watching, uh, some altcoins at Stargate. Really done good this week. It's up 20%, 21%. <clears throat> uh, I was hoping to get a 618 out of it up here around 59 cents, but didn't get it yet. It's kind of it's kind of lost momentum. Uh, it's on a nine day today. So that's, you know, you're kind of getting to the tail end of this this week's momentum, I think it's, uh, let's see if what the stochastic showing. Yeah, it's showing it's rolled over. I think it's still come down here and roll back up, but uh, you're only on week one on this one. You had your nine count, 13, and then, you know, a strong one uh, price bar flip on this one. So I really like that. That kind of setup. I may just hold this one long term and see see what I can get out of it because it's, uh, you know, I heard Rand tell he was telling Sheldon, you know, if, if you were gonna if you were gonna do a long term portfolio, most time you're better off, you know, if you got anywhere down in here on your price, you're better off just holding it because I mean, if you sell up here off this nine bar. Most time you get three to four bars pullback and then it's back off to the races. So now you're having to buy back up here at 250. And I run into that pretty bad on injective. Uh, uh, I mean, you can see what it's done. I bought my first entry was down here at 6.81. Uh, traded it, sold it, made some money, but bought it back at 7.77. Uh, now it's up here at 14 and I can't get back in. So he's a hundred percent right on that. You just never know when you're going to get a weekly, you know, nine count. Uh, I mean, you got it over here. We see your seven bar was your high and then your eight, nine bar sold off. So, I mean, you know, and then you went sideways. I mean, you could have held this thing, you know, from, June of whatever, but uh, last year would have probably been the best time to to buy it. January it looked real good when it got listed on Mex uh, Mexi. Uh, yeah, you could probably pull it on. Uh, let's see. I know Gate had it. Gate I O had it uh, quite a while. 
Let's see. Yeah, the high was back around here, 46 or so. 50 looks like you know, November 23rd, around that week of the 23rd. Uh, that was IPO week, looks like. Shot back up, pretty much hit 25 off the rally. And then uh, when was that? That was May of 21. Yeah, I remember that week. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's what I'm struggling with. I can't get back in. You know, my daily is on a seven, so you're late to the party. You really don't want to be buying right now, but my theory is it's probably going to, you know, blow through this, but. Uh, let me go back to Max C because that's who that's who I'm trading with anyway. So I don't know. I, I think it'll pull back eventually, but it might test this twelve point eight six seven. That was a previous high breakout, I think. Uh, they say you got. I guess you could throw a Fibonacci on it. This is where I struggle is, is do you Fibonacci it from this one bar or do you, or do you Fibonacci from this one? I don't, I don't know. That's, it's all subject to interpretation, I guess, uh, on a strong, on a strong coin. I would probably fib it from right here, and I doubt you're going to get a full retracement. Uh, that says, yeah, you'd probably be lucky to get this 12.867. If you got a 3.82, I, I would probably take that, or 0.5, or I doubt you get a 6.18 retracement off of it, but I mean, you might. Not financial advice, but. Let me see, what does this one show for injective? It might show a HI. So daily, let's see, yeah, it shows it could pull back to this 12.32. And then you've got your, you know, around 12.07, you got 11.34, you got 1071. <clears throat> Excuse me, I doubt it hits this down here. It's 8.68. If it, if it got to that, I'd probably sell a kidney, try to buy everything I could get a hold of right there. But uh, that's just me. But you look at it on a weekly, it's like I said, it's on a five count. Uh, Looks like at 8.63 is a pretty decent place to bid. If you do get a pullback next week on it, which I think you probably will come up. I mean, this could go to a 13 count. These red bars, uh, red numbers, you know, like I said, it usually goes to a 13. Um, I don't know why it's not starting another nine count, but for now it's not doing that. Uh, but you got your Williams money flow on the bottom. Uh, like I said, go, you know, compared to gold, it's extremely overbought. Williams percent are overbought. Doesn't mean it can't go higher. But it could still go to a 13 count. Probably goes up here to 16. Uh, I may change my bid to that 13.30. Probably I'd round up to 13.30 on injective. Um, I think I've got another bid on ruin. I got I got partially filled on it, but it's on a daily nine. That's not great. That may be about petered out. This this one kind of confused me. On a weekly chart, I sold here when it hit this weekly nine count. I got out, which it was it was good to do it. 
you know, it dropped 19% in a week. Uh, but then you regained almost 11%. This week it's up 34%. So I missed that. I missed most of that move. Uh, waiting on – I thought it pulled back four bars. It didn't do it. I think it pulled back one. It pulled back one bar, uh, you know, dropped – 24% or so in a week, but then it just took off and back off. I mean, if it can get above this Ichimoku cloud formation, most likely it might go to 4.34. <clears throat> so that'd be, that'd be my target on it. Short term. I mean, it, I think long term it'll come back and hit all time highs. It's been really strong this year, but. So I think your, your all-time high was around 21 uh, in uh, November, probably, at 21. That was May. May of 21. Never, never did reclaim. In November, the high, the record high. <laughs> that's interesting, but that's what, uh, that's what I'm looking at. Um, on my scan... Uh, let's scan for the weekly by perfection. He got Sheba uh, pulled up a weekly right here on October 16th, the week of October 16th. Uh, you know, on a price bar flip, it's up 12% already this week. Might pull back a little. Next week, you're probably on a nine already, but uh, where's the darn end of this chart? It's a new thing Symbolic's been doing. It drives me nuts. <laughs> and they don't have it where you could just, there you go. Maybe that fixed it. All right. Uh, see, you're at, up against resistance here at this whatever. Decimal places, 809. Uh, it's a daily nine count. So I'd expect that to pull back. Probably test bottom of the cloud, 733. Uh, you got money flow on the bottom. That's not good. It's, everybody's been selling since right here. The big money. It's way overvalued compared to gold. Williams is selling off. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'd buy that right here. I, I might put in a bid at 733. <clears throat> you know, I wouldn't go all in on Sheba, but FTM, Phantom's been pretty strong. It's in a, it's in a bull flag daily formation. If that breaks out, you need to get above 24, 25 cents for a breakout, but, uh, Something else I've learned from Larry is uh, him and Tom DeMarc come up with this is, is he likes, like say it breaks out above this high right here. Ideally, you need a down day the day before it breaks out. And that's, that's how you know you can trust the breakout, I guess. I mean, it still might come back and retest the 25 zone, but he said most time it'll hold. If, if, if you do get a breakout, same thing with trend lines too. If it breaks out of a trend line, uh, he said, it, so say like, say like this one was the one breaking out. You'd want this to be a down day. He said, but if this one isn't Larry kind of a, come up with his own amendment rule. He said, if this one isn't a down day, look at the three bars back. And ideally this one should be a down day. If this was a kind of a flat day where it just, you know, it didn't really go up, didn't really go down, just kind of closed flat um, for the day. But um, that's what he likes. He calls this an inside day, this candlestick here. Uh, if it was breaking out on this day, on bar two. So uh, that's what he looks at. That's something to keep in mind. That's I've been kind of watching that here lately. This Ajax. It did really good this week. Had a, it's on a nine count. Nearly everything right now is on a plus nine daily, which 
kind of makes me think we're going to pull back next week. You know, might get this 21 zone on Ajax. Um, Sheldon was looking at this ape the other day. It's on a nine. I, w- I wouldn't buy that right now. I, you might get the 130, maybe pull back bottom of the cloud, 118 on the ape. And I'm not too excited about mover or the super. It might do something. Yeah, it's on a nine also. And it needs to hold the bottom of the cloud. Around eight cents. Uh, Stargate. It's on a nine. Even the cloud showing this thing's going down next week on it. Probably follows it down. And I may just take profit on it. I hate I hate giving up profits. <laughs> That's my worst. Uh, I'm my own worst enemy, I guess, on that because I just can't give up profits. But this kind of setup, especially with on Bitcoin not having the commercial participation, uh, I just can't see. You know, you could, you could. I mean, your stop out would be 29, pretty much 30,000 on Bitcoin right now if uh, if it closed below that. I believe I Larry likes to close below it two days where you get two full candlesticks below your price action uh, or below your moving average. Uh, on the 18, like like right here, if say, you were, say you we're long here, uh, he probably would have got out right here because he had two full candlesticks where even the high of your candlestick is below the moving average. So that's that's what he likes to use to get out. But you're giving up quite a bit of profit there. I don't... Dad? Well, hang on, I'm making a video. Let me make my video right quick, okay? So anyway, that's about all I got. That's, uh, that's what I'm seeing, so I don't know if that helps anybody or not. We'll go from there and see what it does next week. We'll catch y'all later. Hang on, let me see. How do I get out of this? <laughs> uh, right there.